He's not my president. All right, <laughs> it's my president. Yokohama is on the docket today for our view. Um, yes. Yes, great. <laughs> it is. Um, we, TLDR, really like this game. Yep. Um, before we do that, let's get into just a little brief overview for you who haven't seen this, because I know a lot of people haven't. Um, so, in Yokohama, you will be using your president to go to the various locations out on the play area to either gain resources, technology cards, order cards, or bonuses. What makes this a unique worker placement is that you cannot just place your president onto any of the locations to do the action. You must have an assistant at that location. And to get to a location other than the one that you previously went to, you must have assistance adjacent along a path to that location that you'd like to go to. In this case, I have assistance at the copper mine, the customs, and the research center all adjacent to each other, so then I may move to the location that I'd like to. At the start of your turn, you will either place two assistants on any one location or place three assistants onto three different locations. Here, here, and here. Then, you will choose to move your president off of the location that you were previously at along the path, like I just mentioned, that has your assistance, to the new location. If you were to ever cross a location that has an opponent's president, you must pay them money. If you were to ever place one of your assistants down onto a location with another player's presidents, you must also pay them money. You can also not end your turn in a location that already has your, uh, an opponent's president. Once you have chosen the location that you'd like to go to that for that turn, you will add up the president plus all of the assistants and see how many resources or bonus actions or however many order cards and technology cards that you can take for that turn. If you were ever to have a total of four or more, you can have the option of building one of your houses onto that spot for immediate effects as well as money anytime somebody goes there. The technology cards are used for ongoing bonuses throughout the game. The order cards can be fulfilled using resources shown on the cards for points and a bonus. The church and customs management board, you will be placing assistance out to gain victory points at the end of the game. So the game will end when any player has played all of their trading houses, all of their shops, um, if you can't refill any of the order cards, or uh, the number of workers have been played down on the church or the customs based on the number of players in the game. Yep. Um, and so that's just uh, a brief overview of Yokohama. Um, personally, this has been in my collection for quite a while now and it i i had to go out and buy it after the first game that i played with keegan yep um this game is an incredibly solid worker placement game it's it's so good mm -hmm. um and just like with ryan saying i had initially the regular version of yokohama did you really i did and okay. i played it once with my wife before you and i played it mm -hmm. and then i was like oh god i need i need the deluxe version <laughs> and so i immediately tried nice. to find someone still in the deluxe version mm -hmm. this yes it's i i also have the deluxe version and i have the i think this is meeple, meeple realty. realty but they have these awesome look how excessive this I is know, but, but it's, it's so great. great and then they have the um 
the, the player play. the player ones yeah the player the ones management are, yeah these are fantastic. amazing um because your little player board slides right into this yes. and it has every slot already like sectioned off where yes. your things need to go this is this is great i love it um but i i think like playing this i would not play the retail i'm like the deluxe is just so it just it's, brings such a fantastic tactileness to this game tmg does insane deluxe versions like yeah, i know a lot of people are all about game brewer for deluxe mm -hmm. components and game brewer is great too but i think tmg for me like is the best Knocks publishing yeah, yeah like eagle griffin too but they're mm -hmm. it's different but tmg like their deluxe stuff is so good yes um it just yes it brings so much liveliness to this game mm -hmm. a, a liveliness that's already there from the mechanics themselves but yeah. um the artwork um there's not a whole like it's not it's not over the top um they just they do some like a very what is that art like a very stylistic um, it's like borderline minimalistic but yeah. not really like it has this it's like quaint yeah it's quaint. a nice quaint like it makes you mm -hmm. feel good playing the game yeah um and all the the locations too have um the the different locations drawn on them but yeah. they're like they're not overwhelming right you know you can see all like the spots that you're going to go to what resources you're going to get those are um very bold and you can really see it so that's really nice everything's um, very clear yes uh so i mean you're not going to go, oh my gosh, this art's so fantastic, but it draws you in still. It's, it's very nice. I think the I box like draws you in for sure. Like, the oh, box yeah. looks <laughs> really <laughs> interesting. Box. Like mm -hmm. the, And the orange and like the blue just pops really nice. Like It really pops off your shelf. I love this orange. Yeah, it's, it's um, beautiful. Yeah. So this one always sits up on my shelf up there. And I have to mention the gold deluxified <laughs> font that draws you in too. Yes. But obviously the most important part is the actual game mechanics themselves. Yes. Um, this is probably one of my more favorite worker placements. Am I wrong in saying that you said Yokohama is your number one game? It is my number one game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Um, it's, it's quite different than any other worker placement dealing with like placing your, like moving your president around and then playing workers down based on, or no, playing your workers down first, then moving, having to move your present around to do that action's location yep. is, okay. is such an interesting mechanic and, it's really cool. and strategy that you need to implore with it, right? Because you do have to think about where everyone is already situated on the board, not only that they can block you, but you need to create a path for your own self to get to a location that you want to activate. Yep. Um, and then having some of the, the technology cards to kind of like break, break the, the game a little bit yeah. is, is really cool. Um, there's definitely a few that when they come out, I'm like, ooh, I want to grab that technology yep. card. Because like going to the same places as, as someone else's president is really and not good. having to pay is fantastic. Or like, yeah, just being able to do it there. The train station's amazing mm -hmm. too. That one's great. Which one was that one again? That's the one that basically, like, you pick a spot to put the train station at, you just get a teleport there. Yes. It's, that mm -hmm. one's really good. There's, also, there's one that you can just literally go to any spot you want. You don't have to follow your workers. Yeah. And that one, every time I'm like, you gotta go for that. That's like yeah. a race to that one. It's, um, it's, it's cool. And like the idea mm -hmm. of like, when you place your assistants down, since you have to put three on separate spots or two on the same spot, mm -hmm. um, planning out like which spot do I want to build up mm -hmm. so I, that I can get like the full value on this spot yeah. versus do I want to make my path? Like yeah. how do I, figuring mm -hmm. out when to like pop off your big location yeah. or being like, I'm out of assistance. I, I legit can't do anything. And you, you waste a turn having to take everything off the board. That feels mm -hmm. horrible. So I really figuring ever, that out. I don't think I've ever come across that, but yeah. yeah. It happened once to me and I felt like an idiot. <laughs> and I, I think like even more what's intriguing about like this, figuring out a, like when you want to like pop out like your big move or like yep. you got a whole bunch of assistance on a single location. You're like, yes, here's a big move. I'm going to place down and get a whole bunch of points here or whatever. Yeah. And um, it, it's the, you actually need to also think about it multiple turns in advance, right? Because you're also like trying to set yourself up for so that you can have maybe multiple big moves. Yeah. Like just one right after the other. And I like, at, like knowing me as that type of gamer who likes to think multiple steps ahead yeah. and being able to actually start planning it out, placing them out is 
a lot of fun for me and I can go, I can actually see what I'm doing along the way and going, yeah, okay, this is going to work. This is going to work. I'm definitely going here, then here, then here. Now that you're talking um, about it out loud, the game is like, it's, it is worker placement, mm-hmm. but it also is, to me at least, soft, like action programming. Yeah. Because okay. mm-hmm. you're putting things down in the, with the intent of going there at some point. Yeah. And so it legit is you're programming things for later, mm-hmm. but how good, the, like how beneficial this is depends on how much you're placing there. Yeah. So it, there's like a cool, like mm-hmm. hybrid aspect of that. Yeah. And it's like, so like if I know I'm going to go in, let's just say the fish market fish or something where I know I'm going to need quite a bit of one, one material, but I don't need it until a little bit later. Yep. I need to do a few things out. I can just start slowly placing these these workers down on that that one resource location. Like, all right, now it's time. Go get a whole bunch of it and then switch over to that yep. one thing I'm going to do. And go get a whole bunch of it if you still have your path. And as yeah. long as nobody else is there already mm-hmm. with their president, it's, yeah. there's so much to think about in the game. It's super juicy. I really like the um, the ambassadors, the the tiles that you get for selling oh, certain yeah, things. Yes. It, like mm-hmm. I like the like the fact that you have to like you're doing like a set collection with that, mm-hmm. and then um, you get a bonus action flipping those over, which feels mm-hmm. really good. Um, but then also knowing that there's a limited amount, you can really be like, well, I don't want anyone else to get a full set, so I'm going to take all the ones from the Netherlands, <laughs> I, so no one can take all the Netherlands ones. I always end up trying to do like go for that set collection, realizing, oh, it's not actually that much points. I should not yeah. try to focus on like. Grabbing a, a uh, uh, what is this? The, um... the orders? Yeah, the orders. Um, sp- like the specific ones in order to get those yeah. ambassadors. I'm like, just do the ones that I can easily get. I always feel like it's not that big of a deal to get that it's, sex because there's not that many points. And see, that's the thing for me. I always try to go it. for an ambassador, though, because yeah. you have to get two, you have to get a pair before mm-hmm. you can get an ambassador. Yeah. So it's not just like, hey, I got one, I get one. Yeah. So it, I, I think they, become, they come more in handy to let you do some bonus things on your turn mm-hmm. versus the points they're worth at the end of the game. Yeah, but but you only need one technology to get that ambassador too. So I always sometimes I'm I mean, picking them specifically but, for an ambassador that I need. And yeah, I and always need to remember don't always do that. It's it, okay that you don't have a full set it, collection. It becomes a decision though too because mm-hmm. the only way you can even get an ambassador is the symbols have to match. So you yeah. have to have two cards per ambassador regardless. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. it does become a thing like, does this technology benefit me more because of the technology or yeah. does it benefit me more because I can do one bonus thing really quick mm-hmm. that really will help. Yeah, like, yeah. It could be a thing like, I know that Ryan's going to go here on this turn. I'll just do another action and just go stand there so he can't do <laughs> it right now because it, it might help yes. me for a round to like delay something. Mm-hmm. Maybe to hit one of these like like objectives. Like if I block yeah. Ryan here, I get it now before him. Yeah. Like that, that mm-hmm. can be really handy. Yeah, and I like that you like you can go and block a spot mm-hmm. from somebody um but it won't necessarily be like just detrimental to you no you right? have so many there's options. something that you can probably do there or yeah. yeah that it's actually not that like you don't it's not completely wasting a turn no right so you never get like uh, i have to stop him i'm just giving up a turn no not necessarily yeah. it's not going to happen that way um and not only and, is like the interaction there of that, like the soft blocking, but mm-hmm. also like the with people throwing their trading houses down, that comes a yeah. whole new aspect. Because you can go somewhere mm-hmm. where someone's trading house is at, but you're gonna yep. have to pay them. Like it's it's really cool. Yeah. Like there's like all these like small interactions, especially later in the game. Uh, when you the, don't pay them. I think they just get the money from the the supply. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, but but, the, but, but either that's way, really like, nice of planning. Like yeah. I really want to get my trading house out on. So I get more money. Yeah, on this particular location because I know people are going there. Yep. Like this this resource, people, everyone keeps getting this resource so let's let's play it down let's get some extra money the board time. looks yeah. absolutely nuts mid to late game because yeah. there's so much out on the board speaking of the board the game's great because it scales really nicely yes. because you put a certain amount of location tiles out depending on the player count mm-hmm. and two player feels just like a good thinky game it doesn't mm-hmm. have a whole lot of interaction necessarily like there's yeah. some but not a lot four player is chaos and it's, it's great yes. it's a huge board and you think like there's so much like so much space it's not going to be an issue mm-hmm. you're constantly running into somebody yep. not to mention the fact there's an alleyway card or tile that is in the right in the middle yeah and if you just want to pass you can't place anything on the card but yeah. if you want to pass through you have to pay a money regardless <laughs> yeah so you're uh, totally trying to avoid this alleyway mm-hmm. but it's it's really and, cool like they're completely modular right you don't mm-hmm. have to always put those locations in the same spot you can just Random down it. randomly, yeah, which um, is great. Mm-hmm. You could have two fish markets right next to each other and just like ha- harvest fish yeah. forever. But it it's it's really um, cool. Yeah, um, and I like that. 
a lot of the points, so your points are coming from your, your order cards and then getting down on the, uh, the customs or the, what was it? The, the church. The church, yep. right? So there's really only... And your objectives. Few, some objectives, yeah, but that's kind of just as you go along. Yep. But the fact that there is really only three ways of, the main ways of getting points, mm -hmm. um, it, it gives you additional strategies to kind of go yeah. for. You can kind of go for all of them. You aren't, you don't necessarily have to get... Um, you don't have to just choose one direction, really. I don't think you should pick one direction in this game. It feels it, it's like um, a lot better. Like min maxing in this mm -hmm. game, I don't think is going to get you as far as trying to spread out a little bit. Like I usually mm -hmm. try to go very hard on the export track, mm -hmm. but I always find myself having to do something else in that time because yeah. I can't constantly just keep getting exports. Yeah. So like having some other ways to get stuff, and like I think looking at mm -hmm. the objectives is really helpful to kind of like help. Especially if you're like overwhelmed with all the options, like when yeah. we talk Chris and um, Sam, this they're like, "There's a lot happening." It's like just look okay. at what the objectives are yeah. and try to go for that, yep. and it gives you a good like route to focus on. And while mm -hmm. you're focusing on that route, you can start seeing where the other branches pop off at. Yeah, and there's definitely in. I know you said like, they they might seem like it's a, it's a, a lot of different things that you could be doing, but there's really not. It's like not. it's it's pretty condensed to a point where it's not like. A Lacerda game or something where no. you're just like, holy crap, where do I see all these points coming from? Yep. It's pretty obvious. obvious and right there for you to understand. Okay, yeah, I can get some points. Oh, these these order cards, ah, I see they're all laid out for me. Yep. Okay, if I just get some resources, I can get these ones. It's, um, it's visually it, it, yeah. big, mm -hmm. but mechanic-wise, it's and not. And there's not a lot of like, you have to do this, and then do this, then do this, to then get this. You go, okay, now just get some resources and go there, and you're going to yep. try to do that. You're going to... Get, get some exports, right, to get a worker down on there. Yep. Or just get some of your resources to complete some of these order cards, right? You're not, it, it's not just a chain of things that you have to do. Um, I really appreciate mm -hmm. how important money is in this game because you have yes. to use your money to buy workers, buy mm -hmm. your, like you don't get to just make your shops and your trading houses and yeah. get more, you have to pay for everything. Yeah, you first have to pay for them to like, have them in your have, inventory. Yeah, in your inventory and then be able to, to actually get them out of yeah. the board. So it's it's great. I think also with this game too, it's it is very Euro, but it feels oh, yeah. different in a way that most of the points you're getting in this game, you're getting during the game. Yeah. There's like there's a some like area majority stuff at the end of the game mm -hmm. for scoring. Yeah. And like the set collection and like some leftover resource stuff is like very minimal. Mm -hmm. But during the game, you're going to be getting a huge chunk of your points. Yeah. So really watching what people are doing like during the game is going to really it's help very, you. Yeah, you really need to do that because yeah, because. You can pretty much see where where the game's going yep. throughout it. You're not you're not really things aren't hidden from you too much. Where yeah, like a where like a little sort of game where sometimes it just someone sweeps out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. it's that's not really going to happen that much in this unless they kind of built up a bunch of order cards and filled them all at one time. Yeah, but you can kind of see it happening or coming. Right. Um, so yeah, there's there's nothing that kind of really comes at a surprise. You're mm. like, oh my god, I didn't even know you were. Doing, doing this, this or yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you can kind of plan around and, and figure out what your what, what your steps are, yeah. what your strategy is, yeah. Um, and like I said, like kind of that with it being a worker placement, yeah, you are playing down your president to do that action, mm -hmm. but it's it's so interconnected with these other little workers that you're playing out and trying to create that that like you said a, um, a, a the pre programming the right programming, yeah, yeah that. Those two work so well here together it's that super nice. it just it, it just hits everything. What what did I, I forgot what did Kelly say that? Um, oh, uh, tickles my brain. It tickles my brain. Jingles my bells. <laughs> it's I legit like when we play this game, I try to think of a negative. Yeah. I try to find something bad with this game. Like I really mm -hmm. just don't like this. There's I there's nothing about this game I don't like. Yeah. I legit like this. Like I like the whole mm -hmm. game. I think the only only thing I can complain about at all is the player boards. With you have so much little things on your player boards. If you barely bump it, it just goes everywhere. But <laughs> yeah. like, but that's just like that's yeah. it's a minimal thing. It's like a quality of life thing that yeah, maybe exactly. if, if someone created a double layered board of it, you could get this like yeah. a little like, upgrade. That, like that thing they have for terraforming Mars that you lay on yeah, top so you yeah, think like something's overlay or something. But, or you just get this really awesome thing that just lines yeah. everything in here. But that's, you know, the whole idea of like, I don't want to mm -hmm. spend more money on a game where it should just be like this anyway from the get-go. Yeah. But it's not a huge deal at all. Just don't for, bump the table. For me, complaining all the time about like, 
upgrade a game will upgrade components but then not do it for something else yeah i don't like i never thought damn it why don't they just upgrade this a little more no it's fine like they yeah. have it's it's a sound like a thick player board thick cardboard layer board that i'm yep. like it's not this flimsy thing yeah, it's fine that's it's, true they it, it worked for me yeah okay sometimes you bump it and that was honestly just... them laying on there is whatever you don't even need them to really you could just plop them all down whatever. Yeah, that's true unless you're like ocd and need them to fit line up perfectly yeah. i mean that's like that's... i was just being super nitpicky because i like i i want to find something wrong with the game just so it's not like a like a weird like well you're just like a fanboy that just loves everything about this so it's like well sorry yeah. i kind of do yeah <laughs> like, like, i mean it, as being a game that's my top game it's my top game for a yeah. reason like I it was just, there's really not much i personally can find it was in my top 10 for a mm-hmm. while like it slowly got pushed down from some yeah. other games but it's still like it mm-hmm. It has to be at least top 15 for me. Okay. Like, pretty, it's like yeah. borderline getting into top 10. It's like so yeah, close, yeah. but some games just slightly beat it out for me. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, this game's wonderful. I just want to play Yokohama Duel now really bad. Oh, yeah. Which I know is impossible to find right now, but I think <laughs> there's a reprint coming. Okay. Or maybe some more copies somehow, but mm-hmm. it's like $100 on Board Game oh Geek God. right now. Okay. But, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Well, and okay, so you said too, like, it gets crazy at four players, two players, and a whole lot of interaction. I think I prefer two. I think we talked about this as our two player games, our very first podcast. I think I brought this up. Yeah, you did bring this one up. It is absolutely fantastic at two players. I agree. I think I like it best at two players. I played two, three, and four. Four is chaotic and a lot of fun. Yep. But I think I just had so much more enjoyment as two. Honestly. I, I think this is one of those games for me that I legit like it at every player count. Yeah. Like, I don't have mm-hmm. a preference. Okay. Like, if anyone's like, yeah. if we, whatever size group we have, and they say, let's play this, I'd be like, yep, okay, oh, yeah. that's good. I mean, yeah, I would too. Um, um, and my, and, like, my wife is not, like, a game, like, as heavy of a gamer as, like, our group is. Yeah. But she likes playing games. And if she finds a game she likes, she likes the game. Yeah. And this is one of hers. Like, okay. she, she loves Yokohama. Okay. She loves this game. Mm-hmm. And she destroys in it. She's very good at this game. Dang. Okay. Um, but, yeah. Rave reviews for Yokohama from us. <laughs> yes. It's so we good. We had to do this because, yeah, we played it so many times now. And we're just like, I had to do a review on it. Yep. Uh, I, I, had I think... had to at least let people, more people know about it because I know too many haven't quite heard about it. And I always, like, when someone asks for a suggestion, I always yep. suggest this one. To try and out. Japanese designer, which is really <laughs> cool to see. Um, we need to get more Japanese games over here. Yes. Or at least from mm-hmm. Japanese designers, because I know there's some really cool, like, special gems from Japanese de- designers that are either only in Japan or mm-hmm. sometimes sold through BGG Market, but yeah. it'd be great to see more of. Um, and, like, what you were saying, like, <clears throat> you just love this game so much you wanted to talk about it. Like, mm-hmm. I think I think we're going to start doing that a bit more. We're going to start taking some games off that aren't necessarily new games, yeah. but we just love the game enough. We just want to gush about it for a bit <laughs> and just talk yes. about it. Yes. And it might, it's going to be a thing, too, though. It's going to be videos of one of us gushing and everyone else going, you're yeah. dumb for liking this. So, yeah. <laughs> But not this game. We, not the, yeah. This we is both, beautiful. This was both, yeah. Everything about this game is elegant. Mm-hmm. If, it legit is. You, yes. People say elegant and throw that around, to, I think, too much with board games, but mm-hmm. le- this game is very elegant. Everything works really smoothly. It looks yeah. beautiful. The production makes sense. The design mm-hmm. makes sense. Like, everything about this game is perfect. Yeah. It's so good. Mm-hmm. And if you're if you're a deluxe board gamer, this is definitely one to, to pick up. Even if you're not deluxe, just the tactileness that, that the deluxe brings is, is it's nice. very nice. I love it. It's And it's not really, like, when I say deluxe, it's not really, like, the cost is not... No, astronomically it's, different from the retail. No, so it's not. So if you can find someone selling the deluxe, definitely, definitely snag it for your collection. It's and it's one of those games too where like there's some games slight deluxe tangent about mm-hmm. like the deluxe components make the game tactically feel look nice, but sometimes mm-hmm. logistically it feels weird. Yeah. Like there's a there's a deluxified version of Orleone, mm-hmm. and my wife loves Orleone. I really like Orleone a lot too, and the deluxe version makes all the resources wood. Mm-hmm. but you have to stack the resources in a pile at a spot mm-hmm. on the board, and it, that can be weird. Yeah. And then, like, the parts on the board where you put resources out, they're there perfectly lined up to have, like, a little square tile on. Yeah. And I think it just works really well that way, that the Lux isn't necessarily needed. Yeah. Especially okay. for that game where it's... Mm-hmm. People are trying to flip that for, like, 200 bucks. It's yeah. It's just, like, not worth it. But this game, 100%, everything yes. deluxe in this game just works. It does, yep. And a nice... Mm-hmm presentation way like it just mm-hmm. works with the game it's not excessive does, does the regular retail have these the wooden, wooden houses, houses? Nope. no it's so i think it's just a uh, punch board oh uh, so yeah i think honestly getting the block just for those just to like ease like they just pop out and you know oh yep. i have my 
someone has their their trading house the 3d aspect yeah, of it. yeah. Go, okay it's not big it's not overpowering mm -hmm. it's it's perfect yeah. and it feels it's good to slam cool. one of these chunky boys on the board like there's my trading house get <laughs> yes. over it like it, it's super mm -hmm. nice give me those extra bonuses give me give me give me mm -hmm. um yeah so there's our thoughts on it um let us know what you think in the comments yep please um 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 for us yep so like and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>